Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum today a little bit stronger than Bitcoin. Nothing major though, but pushing against the ceiling again. So it's a very nicely defined, very short term range here between the lowest lows here that we had recently around 1865 and that 18, let's call it now 1930. Um, first of all, we had structural resistance of previous swing highs and here as well at around 19.30 on Thursday, another peak on Friday and yeah, maybe today again, unless we can finally break through here, which would be a bit unusual for a Sunday, but hey, the crypto market is starting quite friendly um, into Sunday. So yeah, it would be interesting. I mean, it did what it needed to do, right? It hit our support area several times. This trend reversal area we talked about, as long as it's holding 1818, we can focus directly on higher in a fifth wave. The question is just, is this still a fourth wave as um, a flat pattern? Or do we deal with what, what is, of course, possible is that the C wave ended here in a so-called running flat. And we have an A wave down, a B wave up, and the C wave down as an ending diagonal in a wave four. So we have a running flat pattern. And we are working on our wave five now with a breakout, but it would need to take out the latest high to confirm that at 1936. Or, or um, I think that is actually, if it pushes higher, I would rather count it like that. Because could we already say that the fourth wave is finished here? Yeah, that it finished here. And this is the fifth wave in the making as a wave one of five a wave two or five, a wave three or five, but it doesn't make a great difference anyway, right? And that is micro counting. And it's very dangerous to engage in this type of micro counting because um, there are just too many possibilities and it is not so relevant because what is really relevant? Relevant is our support, our pivot point, the 50% retracement at 18.18. As I said, as long as we are holding that, we can focus on high end at the moment. It seems like we should get one more high in a fifth wave, um, but below 1818, I will count this five wave move to the upside as already complete and would then assume that a wave one or a wave five of one was already completed and that price is pulling back in a wave two into the region between 1694 and 1782 with the golden ratio at 1746. I explained to you in the last videos, this is really the bullish range we deal with. Um, if if price breaks below 1818, then this is the relevant one, still bullish. I know a lot of people are waiting for a deeper setback. Just be warned, it might not happen, especially in a larger third wave. If we really are in a larger third wave, you may get extensions longer than you think they will be, and you get pullbacks shorter than you think they will be. So it is going to be interesting. While I'm looking for a deeper pullback in a wave two, I will not rule out a direct aggressive escalation because most people don't expect it. And I've seen it before. Okay, I've seen it before and then people get um, annoyed and are sort of left out of positions because they've been waiting. They've, you know, they've tried to wait for the lowest low, which often doesn't happen. And, you know, my strategy, for example, is not to wait for the lowest low, but I want to be on the train. I want to be on the train. Um, and uh, therefore, I usually emphasize the idea of a core position. And I hope everybody is positioned in some way at the moment, because this is an opportunity, even if it doesn't work out. Let's say, OK, let's say this doesn't work out, you know, and it breaks below 1694, retest 1534 and maybe even goes lower, which, of course, is a possibility. Then at least this year is an opportunity. Yeah, it's an opportunity too good to be missed. That's why we do the analysis to reveal and uncover those opportunities. Now, if the opportunity works out, nobody knows, right? But um, it currently points into that direction also with regards to what Bitcoin is doing. And the altcoins are waking up now as well. So it's going to be interesting. Um, nothing else to add at this stage, I think. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.